Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode of On Sundays We Stamp, my birthday nails. That's right, my birthday is on Tuesday, September 10th, and I'm starting off with the Calcium Rich Base Coat by Maniology. Since I haven't been using gel in a long time, I've been using this and it's helping. Now I have to pick through all of my favorite holographic nail polishes that are blue, which I have a lot. I settled on Starry Night of Summer because my favorite painting is by Vincent Van Gogh, Starry Night, and I'm using Dream by Zoya. The Starry Night of Summer is a holographic navy blue, and it's beautiful, fully opaque, and two coats with gorgeous holographic glitters inside of it. But it was missing something that I wanted, which is where the Zoya polish comes in. The Zoya polish has these silver flecks in addition to holographic, except it's a little bit sheerer than the Starry Night of Summer. So I wanted it to be deep, and I decided to use Zoya as a sort of pseudo top coat. This is a plate from the Manny and Me collection, so it's not available, but it does have the phases of the moon. And I'm going to use Magic Hour to pick up certain designs on it. This is the symbol for Virgos, which of course I am one of them, and I'm going to use this to pick up the stamp and put it on my pinky nail. I love that the Virgo symbol was just the perfect size for my pinky. It looks adorable. However, the rose gold wasn't popping as much as I wanted it to, so I decided to just go ahead and cover it in white. This is Bam White by Maniology. And I will be using it to pick up other colors and designs, or not colors, but designs as well. For example, I was born on a waxing crescent moon. So this is the one I will be using. And I'm going to place it on my middle finger. There are plenty of other plates that have the moon phases in case you need to find them. I don't have any of them, so I can't show them to you, but I have seen them. I'm using the same plate and I'm picking up these sort of scattered stars. It's so beautiful in rose gold over the blue. It is just astounding. And Magic Hour is my favorite rose gold stamping polish out there. Super easy to find because it's on manianology.com. But if you can't, if you can't get it online or for whatever reason, try Morgan Taylor's No Way Rosé. That one picks up beautifully and stamps beautifully as well. It's just a little bit more glittery than this one. Now I'm picking up these closer up stars in white and I'm going to use them on my other fingers. So that's going to be my index and my middle or not my middle. I'm sorry, my ring finger. That's right. I'm putting them down lower to the base of the nail and setting them at kind of an angle. And just to really bring it home and make it pop, I'm going to use the Magic Hour over this Aurora Borealis design, which I have used before and I love it. And I'm going to just add it over top. So it goes from a little more Star Spangled Banner to Galaxy. I honestly just love the effect and the look of it over top. I'm using the smudge free top coat, but only on the white portions of the stamping. I don't want the white to streak and we have established that the smudge free top coat will peel after a day or two. Once that's dry, I'm going over it with my speed dry top coat to seal in the design so that it lasts through all my cake eating on my birthday. And here's the final result. I love these nails. I cannot wait to show them off to people. And by people, I mean all the Sims that I'm going to be playing with once Realm of Magic comes out on my birthday. How cool is that? And yes, my plans are so big. I'm going to be on the couch like a potato, just playing games till I go blind, apparently. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.